Hello and welcome. ANSYS Fluent is a state-of-the-art computer program for modeling fluid flow, heat transfer and chemical reactions in complex geometries. It comes with a single window workflow which allows users to mesh geometries, set up model, solve and post process all in a single fluent window. In this video, we will present a short demo of this ANSYS Fluent single window workflow by using an example CFD problem. Let's get started. Before we begin with Fluent, let's get a clear idea of the problem being solved. In this demo, we will simulate flow through a mixing tea. There are two air streams entering the mixing tea and they have different temperatures, different velocities and are going to mix before reaching the outlet. The goal of the simulation is to determine how well the streams are mixed by the time they reach the outlet. If they are perfectly mixed, the temperature at every point on the outlet plane would be the same, otherwise it will vary over the outlet plane. Once the goal is known, we will launch ANSYS Fluent. In the launcher panel, you will notice meshing and solution modes. In meshing mode, we can create the mesh and in solution mode, we set up the problem, solve it and view the results. As you will see, both meshing mode and solution mode can be accessed through the same fluent session. We will select meshing, leave the rest of the settings to default and click on start to open fluent. In meshing mode, we will import the mixing T CAD geometry and create a mesh using the watertight geometry workflow. To learn how to generate simulation ready meshes, Using watertight geometry workflow, we recommend our ANSYS Fluent Meshing Watertight Geometry Workflow course. For brevity, we will avoid any detailed discussion on meshing in this video and instead quickly skim over the mesh generation process. Since the CAD geometry consists of only the solid region, we will extract the fluid region during the meshing process as it is needed to simulate flow through the mixing T. While extracting, we will also specify the inlet and outlet phases. The zone types of the inlet phases will be velocity inlet and the outlet phase will be pressure outlet. For this demo, we will be using only the fluid region and hence the solid region will not be transferred to the fluent solver. When all the tasks in the workflow are successfully completed, we will have a valid volume mesh generated for the imported CAD geometry. At this point, the meshing process is considered done and we are ready to move forward. It is recommended to save the mesh before switching to solution mode. We can switch to solution mode without leaving the current fluent session by using the switch to solution button. In solution mode, the ribbon is organized into several tabs which can be used as a workflow guide. Usually, we go from left to right and the four tabs that are used for almost every problem are domain, physics, solution and results. It is a good practice to begin with a mesh check to ensure the imported mesh is free of any errors. As we see here, Fluent does not report any problem in the console and that is all we want to see. Next, we will change the units of temperature to Celsius. No matter what units are selected, in the background, Fluent converts everything to SI units when it calculates the flow and so this has no effect on the solution. It is for users who are more convenient to use other units to define the problem or view the results. In the solver group of the physics tab, we will keep the default settings. Under the models group, we will check energy to solve for the temperature. The create edit materials dialog box can be used to define materials and their physical properties. Here we will use air with its default properties. 
We will keep the default entries for cell zones but need to define boundary conditions for the inlets, outlet and wall. In the boundary conditions panel, select inlet large and click edit to open the panel. Enter 3 meters per second for velocity and 25 degrees Celsius for temperature. For inlet small, the velocity should be 5 meters per second and the temperature should be 55 degrees Celsius. In the panel for the outlet, the default value for gauge pressure is set to 0 and we will retain it. The outer surface of the fluid region which is in contact with the inner surface of the solid mixing T is named solid and has wall type boundary condition. We will retain the default no slip adiabatic boundary condition settings for the wall. Next, in the solution tab, we will create a report definition to help monitor the solution while it is being calculated. Click definition and select a new surface report for the area weighted uniformity index. We will give a descriptive name and then change the variable to temperature. Select the outlet and ensure the report file and report plot options are checked. What this will do is, while the solution is being calculated, it will plot how the uniformity index of temperature on the outlet is changing with each iteration. To initialize the solution, before Fluent begins calculating, we will click on Initialize. Finally, everything is ready to begin calculating the solution, so enter 200 iterations and click Calculate. The solution will iterate until all the equation residuals are reduced below the convergence criteria. While it's iterating, we can change to sub-window view to see both windows at the same time. The solution converges rapidly and the report plot shows that the temperature uniformity index is no longer changing with the iterations. Now we will do a mass balance check to further ensure the convergence of the problem. Mass balance can be performed by clicking on fluxes in the reports group. Select the inlets and the outlet and click compute. The panel will report the mass flow rate for each of the selected boundaries. Fluent uses a sign convention in which a positive sign means that mass is entering the domain and a negative sign means that it's exiting the domain. If you select all the inlets and outlets and add the values together, the net result should be zero. Since CFD is a numerical method and an iterative procedure is used, the net result will never be zero. However, compared to the outlet mass flow rate, the net result here is several orders of magnitude lower, so we can say a good mass balance has been achieved in the solution. Next. We will make a contour plot. Go to contours in the graphics group of the results tab and choose new. Select all the boundaries, set the variable to temperature and then click save display to display the temperature contours. Notice that after clicking save display, the contour appears in the list of graphics objects under the outline on the left hand side of the graphical user interface. Several such graphical objects can be created using ANSYS Fluent to analyze the results of the simulation. Before exiting Fluent, you can save the case and data file by going to File, Write and then selecting Case and Data. Once the files are saved, we can simply exit Fluent. That was a quick demo of the single window workflow using ANSYS Fluent. With this, we come to the end of our video.